once you have installed the app, you can open it and the app will guide you through a setup process. So first you will need to select the uh, language of the user interface and here you can select between English and Afrikaans. I'll leave this on English for now. Then going to the next screen you can select the primary language. So this is the language that you would normally normally search in. And here you can select out of four languages English, Afrikaans, Nama and Nu. And I'll leave this on English for now as well. Then on the next screen you can select the secondary languages. So these are languages that the app will search in if it doesn't find the word you're, you're searching for in the primary language. So here I can select all the other languages well, except for the primary one because it will already search in the primary language. So I'll select all the other languages here. And essentially now the app is set up for use. So the setup process, the installation process, um, gives the example of uh, how it works. So it searches for the word above and it will then display the output um, of th that particular search. Okay, let's search for another word. Um, for example, the word dog or dogs. So I'll start typing the word dog and after three letters you'll see that it provides examples. So it knows the word dog, but it also knows the word dogs. So let me select the word dogs for now. Okay, here you see that I was searching for the word dogs, that was the search term. And in the new dictionary it finds words for the uh, for dogs and in this case in Eastern and Western dialect they have different uh, different words. So that's indicated in the in the app in the dictionary as well. So the next line IPA that stands for a way of how to pronounce these words and again that's different for the Eastern and Western dialects. Then there's part of speech information, so the that indicates what type of word this is. In this case it's a noun, T1 stands for noun. And then there are translations in Nama, Afrikaans, the local Afrikaans, uh, English, and it has some sounds, some recordings. And you see that for the local Afrikaans there are actually two words, so these are synonyms. These are two words that have the same meaning. So for the sound you just click on the triangle and you hear the pronunciation. Okay. Okay, now I earlier showed in the setup um, a process that you could change the languages. Um, if you made a mistake or if you want to change that, you can. You just go to the, 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 the menu at the top right, so with the three small circles, and you click on the settings. So here you can change the languages that we set earlier, right? So the user interface language, we can change that to Afrikaans, and now you see that the, the the interface is changed to Afrikaans, but we're still searching in English as the primary language because that's the the primary set as the primary language. So quickly switch this back to English. So you can still change the primary language or the secondary languages that I said earlier. Um, okay, if you want to search using um, kind of special symbols that are not on your keyboard, like click sounds, um, the app has a possibility for that, and you click on the on that A in the top right corner. So now you get a menu that allows you to select the letters with, with special characters, with special accents on it, or for the click symbols. Okay, let's, let's search for another word. So I start typing, the app will give me the suggestion and I can just click on that and it gives me the entries. And in this case, there are two entries that contain that particular word. So this is the first one. Again, we see the nu, the IPA, the pronunciation, the type of word, the nama uh, translation, but now we also see some additional information uh, about this particular word. And that's in nama. We also see it, the Afrikaans word with the Afrikaans additional information. Again, a local Afrikaans word, the English with the English translation, and the sound again. We can also open the other uh, entry, and again we see all the information. So sometimes not all information is present, sometimes sound is not there, or there's no local Afrikaans information. But this is what you see overall when you search for a particular word. Okay, let's try a last one. If I search for the word jackal, you see that there are now three uh, entries, but it's interesting because none of these are exactly the word jackal. So the app 
will search for entries that have the word Jekyll in it. So in this case, it's the side stripe Jekyll. The second word is for the black backed Jekyll. And the third entry is for the um, Jekyll's bush. And again, you see all the translations and all the uh, information. So you can search for a word, and even if that specific word is not in the dictionary, the app will try to find entries that contain that uh, specific word.